Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Jeff Atkins from Vital Metals. How are you today, Jeff? Very well, thanks, Tracy. Thanks for having me on. Well, I'll tell you, the Investor Intel audience is, uh, has followed the critical materials sector for over a decade, so they're going to find this news very interesting. I'm reading your headline. I guess the theme is you basically made a deal with the SRC. Is that correct? Yes, so we will be constructing a, uh, a leaching facility or an extraction facility within uh, at SRC, and that will take our product from Nechilato and produce a mixed rare earth uh, carbonate product. So if you can tell us a little bit more about the highlights of this particular news, um, we've all been following the SRC's announcements uh, here on Investor Intel. Can you hit us with the top highlights, Jeff? Thank you. The top highlight is that Netralacho is on track to be in production next year uh, to produce a product, a clean product with uh, with all waste taken out to feed into separation facilities, including uh, the recently announced separation facility to be uh, built at uh, at in Saskatchewan. Okay, well, I've done a little bit of research on you because, respectfully, you kind of came out of nowhere for me. I guess I, I wasn't paying attention. Um, I noticed that you have had actual experience in taking a rare earth uh, project to, uh, uh, to production, and you were involved in the early days with Linus. Is that correct? Yes, our entire team has, uh, has been involved in Linus, and uh, some of them have also been involved in uh, Northern Minerals Browns Range project. So yes, we have 10, 15 years experience uh, building, operating uh, rare earth plants. So this is very exciting to us because we of course followed Northern Minerals for many years as well. Uh, you, which uh, members of this team, or can you tell us where we should go as investors to get an update on this uh, team that you've amassed? Yes, so our COO is Tony Hadley. So Tony was the operations manager at Mount Weld for Linus before moving on to Northern Minerals and having the same role with them. So he's one of the few people, I believe, outside of China who have experience of not just one, but actually operating two different rare earth plants. Uh, Darren Sutton, process engineer, who was at Linus, and Ray Agulov was a process engineer at, uh, at Northern Minerals. So you've got, you know, the... The, the team that actually put it into play, is that correct? That is correct. And actually, more importantly, it's actually the team who have lived through uh, the teething issues which rare earth projects have when they, uh, when they are commissioned. So these guys, they've all seen what can go wrong, um, and all those projects have had some issues. And uh, not only understanding what can go wrong, but also understanding how you can avoid those issues. I was reading about Vital Metals again, uh, ASX listed VML. I noticed that you've uh, referenced two projects in particular. You're basically the Nechilacho project, correct? But also that's the former Montero mining project. Is that correct? That's correct. So we have uh, we did a deal with Montero to buy the rights to, to that project as well. Our initial focus is Nechilacho. And that is uh, the project which we will use to get into operations and into ca positive cash flow and, and to grow that. But then it's very important for us to have a second project able to come on stream um, as well to provide that flexibility to be able to adjust to customer demands uh, year on year. And I think that's really important because when you look at the forecast growth of rare earths, it's going to be really important for suppliers um, to actually be able to meet the market demands on a year-on-year -year basis. Uh, when we look at the increased demand, which is forecast to come in the next three, four, five years, there's not going to be any point um, saying that, okay, you're yeah, taking three years to build a plant at that point in time. So you have to be in, in operation and able to adjust uh, and have that flexibility. So that's where it's important having those two projects. So for those of you out there at Investor Intel that are also new to Vital Metals, love the name, by the way, Jeff, would you mind giving us just three, some competitive reasons why someone who's new to rare earths may position Vital Metals at the forefront to the stocks that they're currently watching? I think there's really two key areas. It's, bottom line is it's about being low cost. So from a capital cost perspective, we're looking at it, under 20 million Australian 
for to actually build this plant, which is a factor less than any other project. And what that means is less dilution for shareholders. And the second is near-term operation. So we're going to be in operation within about 12 months. And those two things, so you've got a company which is going to be in operation with positive cash flow and minimal shareholder dilution. Well, I'll tell you, both of those uh, key uh, elements would make you highly disruptive to this sector. So I'd like to congratulate you on your news and also for all of you out there who are currently shareholders and or for those of you looking to become shareholders, what should we be looking forward to in, say, the next quarter? Look, the next quarter for us is going to be a very important one because that will be finalising our project finance. It will be offtake um, being finalised. And those are the two key things, really, which we're working working to in the next quarter. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for joining us today. We look forward to having you update us regularly. Thanks, Tracy. Thanks for having me on.